Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ahabita fillah A question was asked Is it possible to find work in the skilled trades in Muslim countries? Uh, first and foremost that's going to be up to you to make that effort and see what you can find Secondly my experience uh for one, you, you, my experience is in the Gulf countries, uh, and specifically Saudi Arabia. So for most skilled trades, what we consider skilled trades in the West, no, you won't find uh, much of anything as a Westerner. They're not going to hire you to come be a carpenter or an in, uh, uh, electrician in Saudi Arabia or any of those other countries because they have a need for employment of their own people, for one. Number two, those kind of skilled trades which make good money in the West are poorly paid in these countries. So, for example, they'll just have a lot of Pakistanis, Afghanis, and others who they can recruit for very cheap, and and Yemenis and so forth, who may not even in their countries have that experience. So you have a lot of mixed things, but the trades are not valued here so much. And there's a great need for their employment of their own uh, their own youth in these countries. So that's uh, the second thing. The third thing is also depending on the type of trade you're referring to. Are you talking about trade uh, that you are an aircraft maintenance guy? Even that, you're probably not going to find uh, much. You have to have something that's very unique that's worth them paying a Westerner because the Westerner's salary is not going to be the same to recruit you from the U.S. or from the U.K., uh, costs a lot more than recruiting someone who's skilled in the trades even from South Africa or from uh, the, the other countries that we mentioned. So it, so there's so many factors there, but the, to make it short is bottom line, if you don't have some very unique skill that they are in need of, then you can almost forget about it in the in the Gulf countries. And if not, totally forget about it because they don't even give visas for... Uh, a lot of those trades for Westerners, you know, everything is, it's very, very different. If you were in a, a lot of the other Muslim countries, they're probably, you're probably not going to find much either in the way of you getting, maybe you come to those countries, if you go to Morocco or something and you want to study or whatever you're trying to do or make hijrah, um, more than likely you're probably not going to find work as well, unless you have some highly specialized trade that's in demand and you're working in the oil field or something and you've got high skills, not just a regular oil worker because they're training their own people in those fields. I'm talking about in the Gulf countries again. But uh, so that that's to make a long story short. And I would say that you should uh, uh, you do your research more. Go to Google and, and other uh, use other resources and people who have experience with those trades uh, and and just do job searches in in the in the countries that you're looking at. But in general, that is not the case. It's not going to be the case because it's a whole different mentality about skilled trades and what denotes a skilled trade and the need for employment in all the countries that we're talking about. Uh, and there's many, many factors, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with a class with a bat.